Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday, October 12th. Yeah, the week moves along here. Uh, I just wanted to uh, say we had a great rehearsal with the band yesterday. I mean, we have not played together in a long time. And um, I'm just looking out the window, and there's a bunny out there on the lawn nibbling away. <laughs> nature's here. Um, we had a great rehearsal and uh, excited about getting back today. We're just going to pace ourselves, build back into it. But um, it's going to be a fun show. It's just so great just to be in the same room with the guys and uh, and enjoying each other's musicality and company and rearranging some of the stuff. You know, now that we've had time to get away from it, there's some ideas that you go, oh, God, I wish we'd have thought of that when we were in the studio. But, you know, that's that's the beauty of live performance and doing these things is things morph and change as time goes on. There's so many times where I've worked on albums and then we hit the road and everybody inevitably goes, now is when we should have got the album because things evolve on tour and, uh, you know, in the studio you're... You know, you're just grabbing things like that. On the road, you have time to really work them up. But a lot of times, you're going on the road to promote the album. So you'd have to do the album first. Uh, in the same way, when I was with Toto and did the Falling In Between tour, um, where I had five days to learn their show, and we filmed the, the live concert in the second week of the tour. I mean, I was still, like, in the back of my head thinking about these. And I remember sitting with Simon Phillips about two months into the tour, we were going, now's when we should be recording the live show. Because, I mean, not that the show was bad or anything, but it just, it came together at that point and really was shifted to another gear altogether. But that's the nature nature of the beast. God, I'm looking out. We had a massive windstorm came through the area yesterday, last night. And there is just debris everywhere. Um, and there was tr not in my, um, I'm not, I didn't get hit with it, but there are uh, trees that came down on top of people's houses and cars. And I mean, it was really almost like a hurricane coming through. And uh, when I got out of rehearsal, I looked and the air was so thick and I realized it was all just dust uh, in the air from all this wind blowing through the mountain passes and stuff. It was incredible. Uh, but it seems uh, fairly calm today, so hopefully maybe that was a, an anomaly for yesterday and not a portent of things to come because we're still dealing with fires uh, here in, in California in the West. And uh, there was one yesterday, I think, up uh, on the way to Santa Barbara that looked it was several thousand acres. You know, in in those conditions, it, that. <laughs> That can be so catastrophic. And then I have friends that live in Greece, and I just turned on the news, and there was a big earthquake in Crete. So I hope everybody over there is okay. It's a, it's a crazy world. You know, stuff just happens. It's like you just go, man, uh, yeah, just survive it all. Okay, musically, um, I, I was thinking, you know, I mean, every day I'm kind of thinking about different artists and people that I've worked with, and then I start perusing through these different sites, and I find stuff that I that completely was off my radar at, at, at while I'm doing this. So I'm, uh, I, I'm grabbing, oh, this is great, too. I'll show you this. This guy gave, sent me this drawing a while back, and I just think it's, is it pretty amazing? It's one of the better drawings that anybody's ever done of me. I really appreciated this. This was great. Um, but I was looking through, and one of the artists I worked with that I really enjoyed, and this is really a good record, is Paulette Carlson. And uh, we did, I'm going to, excuse me while I drop the eyes. Uh, we did an album called Love Goes On in 1991, and I, and I was gonna, starting to write my copious notes uh, but I'm going to leave my copious notes for the credits. But I, I pulled up some Wikipedia, and she's really had a wonderful career, and I thought I would just read uh, what, what they have down there, a little synopsis of um, Paulette's career. It says, Paulette Carlson began professionally singing in dance bars in Fargo, North Dakota, and in the Minneapolis, Minnesota area, and built a large local following before heading to Nashville in 1978 
Soon after arriving in Nashville, she was signed as a staff songwriter for the Oak Ridge Boys, a Silver Line Gold Line publishing company. Uh, uh, she signed a singles contract with RCA and released three singles. You Gotta Get to My Heart, I Say Yes, and Can You Fool? Uh, but Carlson founded the group Highway 101 in 1986. Um, the band was signed to Warner Brothers uh, with Paul Worley. I worked with Paul many times producing. Carlson recorded three albums, The Greatest Hits Package, and 12 singles uh, with the group before leaving in 1991. Uh, Nikki Nelson replaced her as lead vocalist that year. Carlson signed with Capitol Nashville in 1991 and released Love Goes On, the album I played on, which she produced with the great Jimmy Bowen. I love Jimmy. God, he's great. She also co-wrote seven of the album's ten tracks. The first single, um, I'll Start With You, charted at number 21, and Not With My Heart You Don't chart it. A third single, The Changes Broke, uh, failed to chart, and Carlson exited a Capitol. Uh, Christmas is for you, the Christmas album. Then she reunited with Highway 101, um, and in and it, today it says Carlson has returned to performing and tours with a backing band called Montana Rising. She is currently represented by Gerald Murray Music, an independent agency, specializes in artist management, booking, tour management, and development. Um, but this album, I mean, the the, uh, the team on this album was amazing. So it, Jimmy Bowen and Paulette uh, produced it. Uh, Ron Treat engineered the album. We did it at Soundstage Studios, which is a great deal of the work I did in the beginning when I would go to Nashville and work for Jimmy Bowen was at Soundstage Studios. Um, I didn't see a credit on there, but my assumption would be that the project coordinator on this was Jesse Noble, since Jesse was kind of Jimmy Bowen's right-hand person, and she took care of everything that ever needed to be done in the studios, one of the finest production coordinators I've ever worked with. Um, the band on this is myself, Carlos Vega. <laughs> I miss Carlos. Oh, God, he was so good. Uh, Carlos Vega on drums, Billy Joe Walker Jr. and Reggie Young on guitar, Tom Rohde on percussion. Jeez, I'm just looking at that. Those The first four names I've mentioned are all no longer with us. Wow. Um, John Jarvis on keyboards, Bill Cuomo on synth and piano, Mike Lawler on synth, Sonny Garish on steel. Um, background vocals are Chris Rodriguez, Harry Stimson, Stinson, uh, Vicki Hampton, and... Paulette Carlson. Uh, that's a tremendous band. So much of the work I did in Nashville was with Reggie Young and Billy Joe Walker Jr. The two of those guys, like they were one person with that could play completely different things. So when they played together, it just melded into this really absolutely exquisite guitar parts. And Tom Rohde was such a delight to work with. He's a wonderful percussionist. And all these people, when I heard about their passing, it was just unbelievable. These vital pieces of energy and excitement and talent and uh, just to be gone. I mean, I'm forever grateful for the um, medium of, of recording uh, because it's, it's left a, a living legacy for all the incredible talent that these people all had. Um, but the idea of still not being able to go to work with them and hang out, and they were all just completely crazy people that were so much fun to be with. Um, it's, it, it breaks my heart. There's times where I sit and I get very, very nostalgic and melancholy about all these these people. And uh, there's been so many. I, did my, uh, I think my gone list is a lot bigger than my still here list. So another reason to want to take advantage of working as much as possible and uh, being in a band with my friends and doing sessions and just I want to feel alive until I'm not, but nothing in between. <laughs> just crank and hit the wall, done, game over. So, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play a, a couple of, uh, of Paulette's songs that we did for this album. So it's Love Goes On from 1991. And she's really got such an interesting voice. There's so many flavors in her voice from... from it's, it's, Paulette is Paulette. She, it's not like somebody's copying somebody else, but I hear everything from Reba to Stevie Nicks in her voice. She really has a, a, a really wide berth of, uh, of style in it. So here's a song called Why Should I? Sometimes 
Sonny Garish's beautiful steel. You say it's over now, your love is gone. For some time now, you've just been hanging on. You say this ring no longer fits your hand, and you want me. Just, it's just beautiful country ballads. A lot of people have asked me over the years, like, when I'm doing these, how do I feel? One thing that I've meant to mention <clears throat> a long time ago, when I'm listening to songs, I, I almost always, no matter what the genre, no matter what it is, in my inner clock, I, I pulse everything in eighth notes, even a song like that, because when it's, when it's going on, when I'm thinking in eighth notes, it allows me more subtleties of movement. This is just me personally, how I think. So I'll show, I'll show you what I'm, I'm thinking here. Here's, here's that uh, piece of the song and how it's in 4-4, four, four, so here's how most people would count it. I should I. Spaces rather than to me this is awkward but where is it written I can't fall apart just that's how I think and it kind of doesn't matter if I'm was doing almost any kind of project I, I, I that's generally my mental subdivision is in eighth notes and not in quarter notes or half notes I mean that may be the part but when I'm thinking eighth notes, it, it allows me the flexibility where I want to drop that downbeat because I can be on 
little nuanced sides of, of these things. So I don't know what I'm saying here. I just thought I'd visit with you here. Okay. Um, here's the song, um, Falling in Love for a Lifetime. Rather than this time it's love, no cheap in a day. The people that listen, no strangers' hands make a be weak. But for me, my reputation had been going strong. Now those days. music straight up um here's a song called the chain just broke a little more up we used to love to dance we loved it all but when you're young and made us feel you never think of all It's lived through my hands I heal it gold I had a heart in lock And it was wrapped in gold But the chain just broke See how it shines In my shaky hands Carlos There's 
It was always fun doing these things, and then you'd go, let's let's end it with a lick, you know, and everybody would work up a little lick on it and nail it, and then you always just kind of go, God, I hope I remember that lick by the time we get to the end of the song. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Okay, oh, here's one last song. This is called Not With My Heart You Don't. And again, this is Paulette Carlson, and her album is Love Goes On from 1991. God, I <laughs> This feels like yesterday in my mind. I guess that's the joy of still having a little mind left. Here we go. <laughs>
the wealth of musicianship uh, in Nashville was always quite stunning. You know, and it, I always loved it when I would get to do projects because there was, you know, like Paul Lyman, Eddie Bayers, all these great drummers. But every once in a while, I'd get to go down with Carlos or, you know, Russ Kunkel. We would go down together and work on projects and bring a little of the uh, the West Coast <laughs> to to the to the country. Uh, it's always a joy. So I'm going to get going on just before I started this. I did a had an order uh, an order for a ca a birthday cameo, so I sent that off. And I've got some book orders and a T-shirt here, so I'm going to fill those out and drop them at the post office before on my way to rehearsal today. So it's a, another busy day. So I'm going to wish everybody all the very, very best. And um, just thinking about you and, and want everybody to be safe and healthy and, um, and enjoying their lives. So uh, again, my daily thank you to especially the people that are working in healthcare who are really kind of at their wits end at this point. I mean, numbers are going down, but um, there's so many people that are that are hospitalized now at this point, and especially children now that are non-vaccinated. So uh, it's, it's a tough gig. Now, I don't know how these people do it day after day. It's hard enough to go to rehearsal and play bass, which means nothing compared to what these people are doing. So my heart is absolutely with them. So take good care, and I will, uh, I will see you all tomorrow. I'll have a little more report. Maybe I'll film the guys uh, at rehearsal. I don't want to film the rehearsal and, and post it because that's, that's a giveaway of what we're going to be doing, and I want to, I want to you know, enjoy it on its own. So um, I'm going to go check on the pups, maybe take them for a little walk, and then get their breakfast going, and then I'm out of here. So take good care, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.